The link in the description is only there to see the source material. Do not under any circumstance go to these people with the intent to be a dick. I don't support witch hunts or lynch mobbing, so don't be either. As for the subjects themselves, my video is for the purposes of criticism and entertainment. Take it or leave it. My content is not here to start drama. Please do not treat it like it is. <sighs> Day one on this ship. Let's see. What was on my to-do list? Alright. Talk to Ginger about getting a room to do my work. Meet my neighbors. Meet my roommate. And see if I can bring my characters onto the ship with me. Got it. Well, yeah. gee, no need to do all that. We've already done half that for you. Oh. You're awake. Yep, I'm Beth, your roommate on the ship. I think the name that I was given was Elizabeth. Either way, nice to meet you. Now, can you care to explain what you mean by you already did half that? Well, Ginger has some of the others cleaning out a room and setting up some sort of studio for you to do your videos. I believe they called it commentaries. And, uh, Sugar, the one who apparently knew you, said you evidently had characters in your dimension, so we went to go pick them up. Alright, so you guys have everything under control then? Yep, now as for me, I did a bit of digging on you. Looking on the internet in your dimension to find out about the person I'll be rooming with, and whoo, boy, are you not much cared for at all. Ugh, don't remind me. Yeah, there was one kid who you apparently covered in the past who said you were just straight up a bad person. From what I gathered, he used Pikachu in the past. Hold up, give me the video. Alright, here you go. Pikachu? Is that really you, buddy? <laughs> Alright, so I haven't posted a video in a couple days because it's been really hard to find some commentary material stuff. Or something for me to do a video on. But now I'm back with a new video. I'm doing a commentary on Doodle Tones. Someone you may know in the past. That, that's been doing the commentaries of me. Well, I am going to do a commentary on her. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the commentary, shall we? I see you haven't learned your lesson about scripts, or at the very least don't understand the idea behind retakes. Not saying it has to be perfect, but you seem very lost from thought and disjointed from your video, which slows down the pacing when it doesn't need to be. Hey Tamashi, I found your worst Pika clone! You know, Doodle, I really thought you were a good person. But now, now that I think of it now, you're not. So just... Be quiet. Okay, so hold up. I'm gonna have to explain what's gonna happen here. So in Pikachu's second video, he changes my avatar. I guess because his phone can't exactly download video. I'm reverting my video back to its original state. However, since this time I don't need to make a statement about Pikachu's abysmal audio and video production, I will also be reverting Gyro Hedgy's original video back to its original state. Something that I didn't do of April of last year due to the fact that I was trying to make a point about its production. No, this doesn't really critique anything, this is just simply an explanation as to why the video looks different here, and why it'll look different from this date from the rest of the video. That said, so your entire argument, no, your entire statement towards a joke at the beginning of the video before I could even get into the video is, Wow, Doodle, you're a bad person. Well, yep, you got me. You sure showed me, because I made a meaningless little joke about Tamashi Hiroka's shitty top 5 Pika clones list that I must be a bad person. What does this really do to the video? It's not critique, it's not debate, and hell, you didn't even play it as a pot shot or a joke. You just swoop right in saying, you're a bad person, and then swoosh right out. Good? Congrats, you won the silver prize for the most useless interjection of the year, just under ongoing gamer doing a commentary on in-game Crash Bandicoot dialogue. Besides, today we're doing a commentary on a Pikachu avatar used by a child. Well, I'm not really a child. I'm actually 12, actually. And I'm going to be 13 this year, so... Yeah. Mm, you might want to double-check your facts there. Not really a child. Hey guys, I'm not a child, I'm 12. Well, first of all, you would have had to been 11 when you made the original video if you're going to be 13 soon, as that video was over a year old. Considering a child is an individual under the age of puberty, and puberty doesn't strike a boy until the age of 12, you were a child then. And that's even taking out the common mentality that a child is a child until they reach the age of 15 to 18, depending on where you live and what the age of majority is. That's not even going over the fact that this doesn't matter, and you're nitpicking to an obnoxious degree, only two interjections in. Quit it. Hey guys, it's Pikachu and Gear. It's Pikachu and Gear 64, and today we're going to react and do a commentary on um, Gyro Hedgy 453. All right, right off the bat, we got yet another person who can't seem to understand what scripting is. Not only that, but he's using an iPhone app to do his editing. No, it's not bad. I can use whatever editor I want. 
One that not only makes his videos slow and awkward as you'll see throughout this commentary, but also leaves awkward watermarks that get very distracting. Oops, did you take out that context? My problem was with the fact that your editor at the time, MobyZen, made your videos slow and awkward and left a bunch of distracting watermarks all over the screen. This was a point of critique that you could have used at the time to make your videos that much better, which you obviously have. That said, just saying I can use whatever editor I want doesn't negate this criticism. Yeah, you could use whatever editor you wanted, I never said you couldn't. But that said, MobyZen left you with a lot of issues that you could have fixed. It's also why I gave you a few recommendations to apps that worked better as a phone-based video editor. Gee, it's almost like that criticism was explained to you. Oh yeah, and all in part one of this, he has it in portrait mode. I did not realize it was on portrait mode until I saw the video myself. No excuse. The problem with you having your video in portrait mode was still there. It was still a point of criticism towards your production as it made your video look like utter garbage. And a disclaimer here is that um, the reason why all my videos are gone... How about no? This does nothing but distract from the video and pad out the lengthy 30 minutes of this commentary. It's short, okay? The disclaimer was short. My issue was with the fact that it was superfluous and unneeded. Combined with the fact that at the time you didn't use a script and was painfully obvious about it, it felt far more dragged on than it really needed to. You can say it was short, but it doesn't change the fact that you really didn't need to go off on such an unneeded side tangent to begin with. And where I start off with this guy. He's basically one of those no-good YouTubers that steals a character's art and spray paints it into a different color. He stole a Sonic, Sonic model from Sega and changed it to his own. Alright, so this guy's a Sonic recolor. Can't believe those things are still around. I thought the majority of Sonic recolors died in some sort of bubonic plague and was replaced with My Little Pony recolors. That were eventually taken over by Steven Universe recolors. Sonic recolors are still around. As well as My Little Pony recolors and Steven Universe recolors. Those are still around. It was a joke. There wasn't any actual point there. It was purposely pointless tangent about recolors dying in a nuclear apocalypse, i.e. not meant to be taken as a legit point. Now, you could argue it did lead up to me saying I'm surprised this topic is relevant, but that's because Gyro Hedgy hadn't done anything in, like, four years. Maybe. Hell, his archived video came out in 2014, which was two years old by the time you showed up doing your videos, and he wasn't even doing anything at that time because he fessed up to being a troll. Which reminds me, I'm gonna have to argue in favor of a mindset that I've started distancing myself from, aren't I? Fun. So let's get into the commentary. And I will show off his intro, his crummy intro. So let's get it on. Hello! Wait, is that his intro? You were paying attention and playing the whole video, you would have saw the intro near the end of the commentary. Yeah, but why? What was the point of playing Gyro Hedgy's intro during your outro, especially when you said at the beginning of the original video that you were just going to start by playing his, and I quote, crummy intro, which we literally just saw in that clip. It came off as janky that you would say that you're going to start the video that way and then follow that up by skipping his intro for later. Learning to structure would have helped avoid the confusion. Well, happy Vietnam flashbacks for all. Will you people please stop making fun of the Vietnam War? And you find it funny that people lost their lives in that war? What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, fine. I was in the wrong, you're right. I clearly should have said Happy World War II flashbacks for all. Would have been much more tasteful. This is Gyro speaking. Anyway, there are some retards I shall list them now. Sarah the Cat 2T7, Fishermanful 73, Exolus 1, Iraveride, Sunturn, Oscar Man Dude 1, They Suck Horse Willies. Possibly the only reason why they suck more swirlies is because they act, they obviously point out a list of your flaws. Uh... I know I didn't show this clip, but matter of fact, I just edited the video. But can you care to explain why you raised your red flag? To raise a red flag is to alert as to potential danger or trouble ahead. The origin being that red flags are often literally used to warn people of possible peril. I was just warning you that the person you were covering was a troll and that you were quite actually setting yourself up for being knocked down, which I explain later in the video. Try again. Actually, don't. We don't need you to become the next Periplus Saga. 
Jumpery, because they think they can stop me recoloring, but they can't and they will never be able to. They say it's stealing will have, because it's not. Dude, you're like freaking wrong. If you don't give credit to the original owner and just toy with the model, then you're stealing it. Let's see if you can get that through your thick head. Alright, can I just throw this out there? Your long pause there almost made it seem like you had no point. There is such a thing as a dramatic pause, but your pause lasted an awkward two or three seconds. It's not too long that it's annoying, but it's long enough I could have audio ducted a point in there without worrying about lowering your ear blasting volume. Yeah, my audio is ear blasting, then why didn't you edit the video? I did, but only to audio balance so you weren't so ear rapingly loud. That I did do. Here's the screenshot to prove it. Now, see how mine, while isn't that consistent, what with the fact that every time Gyro is on the screen the audio is almost flatlined, the actual audio is much more consistent. Oops. Not only is the volume spiking abysmal, so much so fixing your volume would literally give me a fucking stroke, Hey, 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 no need to talk like Eminem. Will Smith don't got his cousin as rap to sell records. Well, I do, so fuck him and fuck you too. And second, I already do. Well, I know that you can't talk outside of commentary or anything. That doesn't work that way. But I already mentioned, you can just edit the video. And as I've already told you, I did. Nevertheless, you wanna know what's funny? That doesn't negate the problem from the original video. Your audio balancing was still utter garbage with you cutting off Gyro with your thumb during his segments and you basically skull-fucking everyone who listened to your original video with your audio. Even if I were to edit it, which I did, that's not the point, even if I were to edit it, the problem was still there and was still something for me to point out. And here's where I'm just gonna have to say it. Gyro Hedgy is a self-admitted troll. All this time I've been trolling you he hasn't been relevant since what looks to be about five years and since then has closed his channel. So not only are you trolled- Well, I'm not the only one to comment on Gyro that year. Other people have commentated on Gyro that year. So are they too trolled? Yes. That's kind of exactly what that would mean. Considering that he put that out there to the public prior to your video, whoever else did the commentary on him last year would have been basically walking face first into a troll. And just because others were trolled, that doesn't make it okay. You were still troll. Now, that said, nowadays, I'd argue with my past self in saying that you can commentate on a troll and be correct, but that does bring up another issue with your past video. You weren't. You kind of just went around and did a shitty 2012-style commentary on the guy not actually debunking his points and more calling him stupid just to call him stupid. In which case, yeah, you were still trolled and your video was still not that good. And since I don't normally cover final thoughts, and I won't make an exception here, Pika, Dark, whatever you choose to go by here, even if my video were completely factually incorrect, the sad part about it, your video is that you didn't even try to do anything to refute my video. I get it, you're young, but honestly I fail to see that as an excuse. You said it yourself, you're almost 13, you're almost a year younger than when Artsy Jackie started, and she did alright before disappearing for... reasons, but that's my video, and that's, that's what I do. So, now to meet the neighbors. I'll come with you. You may need it.